Hello everybody, I'm Nate and welcome to the channel. Uh, today on the channel we are reviewing uh, the newest knuckle bone from Around Square. This is the Slim Mini. Uh, but before we get into that, just a, a plug here real quick for my newest patches. It's the one right here in the middle. This is the animal patch here, right here. Uh, yeah, the beat drums, beat drums. Uh, not eat drums, animal. All right, there are still just a few of these available on my site, nerddadedc.com. Uh, so definitely check them out. There's a link in the description. This is going to be a series. So if you are a collector of said ranger eye patches uh you might want to get on these uh the next one's gonna be gonzo uh being launched out of a cannon so i've teased that already uh on my instagram so they are in current production right now i have a lineup of four different muppet themed patches all right but again we're talking about this slim mini I did bring the pouch out here because this is how I carry uh, my knuckle bones a lot of the time. If you are a pouch guy or a pouch girl and you don't have a knuckle bone, this is a great addition to your everyday carry for the pouch carry. Uh, I, I fit this in the fifth pocket quite a bit. I either will carry it in the pouch or I'll carry it in that fifth pocket. All right, so first off, uh, <laughs> Around Square is one of those companies that like, I just love everything that they put out, right? Like just there's nothing in their catalog that I don't really enjoy, but they constantly are putting out stuff that I'm like, I didn't know I needed that until I saw it. And this is one of those things. I really like knuckle bones. I have a number of them and I'll probably still continue to buy new ones. Uh, and I didn't know I needed this one until I saw it. All right, but let's talk about the construction of this one. This is a titanium one here. I don't know if they're going to be made in other metals, uh, but currently for the first run of these, and they are available currently, they sold out like the first like batch of them ran out like really, really fast. Uh, but they are currently, the last time I checked, <laughs> if you're watching this, uh, pretty soon after it's released, they are available and they're available for the sale price. Okay, so they're like 40 USD, uh, which is really reasonable for uh, a titanium uh, piece here. Uh, it is engraved, got a nice little engraving here that's uh, not really obnoxious. You can feel it with like a nail, but you can't feel it when it's, it's going uh, between the fingers. So it's machine finished as well. So it doesn't have like a super glossy kind of tackier finish, which is really nice for whenever you're manipulating it between the fingers. It's not gonna kind of stick a little bit. What makes this uh, Slim Mini distinctive from the rest? We're gonna do a little bit of comparison here. I think the easiest one to start comparing this Slim Mini to is the Honeybone, at least the one I have in my collection. I don't have every single iteration of Knuckle Bones, but I have enough that I can compare here. Uh, but yeah, this is a small, so it's about the same height, roughly, okay? I think there's probably a little difference here, slightly, but it's pretty darn close as far as length. The big difference is the midsection here, right? On all of these, right? That's really the distinctive of the Slim Mini, the, the Slim being the emphasis there. I really like the Honey Bone, right? Uh, but every once in a while with my larger hands, like I feel like it can be a challenge to manipulate. And it's because that middle section, right? Again, it's one of those things I didn't realize like it could be improved upon until I played with this. I've had it for about a week and I've really been rocking it since. Let's just go ahead and test this really quick, just kind of with a simple test uh, between my index finger and my, my middle finger here, and to kind of show you how much thinner that actual midsection is. So this is the honey bone. This is a standard um, you know, width on the middle here, compared now to the Slim Mini. And my fingers are almost touching here. Like, so it's just gonna cradle differently, even though it's about the same length here, right? And that uh, small sort of size, it's just gonna cradle differently between the fingers. The gap there, the distance between there feels a lot larger than it actually is. And then of course it puts a lot more weight to the ends there. So whenever you're doing like, you know, flips, like thumb, what is it, thumb rolls, whatever they're called, 
right? Whenever you're flipping it up, like I feel like you have a lot more control with that because it just has more weight distributed to the ends there. And so it's gonna be really nice for those, even like balance type of tricks, you know? Like I can feel like it's just balances really well on that midsection, really well, just because of how much weight distribution is on the ends here. So I would definitely recommend if you have other knuckle bones from them and you're hesitant of maybe picking this one up, which I don't know why you would be, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, but if you are, I, I think you're going to really enjoy this one. Uh, if you are one that maybe kind of likes larger like knuckle bones, like their standard size or even larger, and you're, you've kind of been hesitant of picking up one of their smaller sizes, I think this would be a really good uh, choice for you. And I have larger hands. And so... I've not always loved the smaller ones. I've not tried the micro ones that are even smaller than this one. I don't think I would probably like that as much. I'd probably be dropping it a lot. It'd be fun to maybe manipulate, but I do really like this size. And it fits like all those preferences, right? Where it's really, really nice and pocket friendly. Like the profile is fantastic for that. And it's great for a pouch carry as well. But it's it's really that midsection there. It's it makes all the difference. It does not feel like it is so small. It might be the novelty of having something new, uh, you know, but I'm probably gonna be gravitating to this one for quite a while whenever I reach for anything out of my knuckle bone collection. Definitely check out the Slim Mini. Like I said, they are currently still in stock at Around Square. I'll have a link in the description. I haven't done like any tutorials on knuckle bone. I'm not like the most advanced player by any means, uh, but if you're interested in any of that, uh, and you want to just see them on this channel, uh, definitely let me know in the comments. For in the meantime, if you are looking for some tutorials, Around Square does have quite a few on their YouTube channel as well. So definitely check that out if you are new to the game. All right, that's going to do it for now. Uh, definitely check out my store as well, Nerd Dad EDC, for any current patches that are in stock. I appreciate the support on that. So make sure you like and follow and all that other stuff that YouTubers say at the end of their videos. All right, that's going to do it for now. And until the next one, later.